old lady with a knife seen on a doorbell cam in the middle of the night. Dementia Yeah. Hard to watch folks descend into dementia. Your body is fine but your mind just can't handle linear reality. It's the cruelest way to go emo. You can just see her struggling to figure out why she's at some house with a knife in hand. Seen my aunt with that same look on her face. It's heartbreaking. Or, like, having to tell your grandma that OPA isn't away on an errand, he's dead. Every 20 minutes. That sucked. We solved it in the end by getting a big rock and writing his name on it, with a cross. Apparently rock name cross equals dead, not that it was a tombstone, and that gave her peace. But yes, there certainly were times where I lied. Although, that some to me a backfired because she did get sharp flashes. In between or remembered I said he was on an errand. All in all, it was very very sad. We solved it in the end by getting a big rock and. Ethan scared me for a second there. Yeah, same here mate. Reddit just f and damaged me. Sorry you had to go through that. There really is no good. Way to deal with those situations. Nope. On the other hand, we have had beautiful moments too. And I could tell her the same joke every 10 minutes and it never got old. And I was with her when she passed, just when she had a sharp day, so all in all. It was bad, but also good. You know. This is what we did when I was a CNA on a memory unit. If a resident keeps asking where dead relative is, we just say they were away on an errand. Or say oh I'm not sure, where do you think? and use that answer in future conversations. Once we had a dumb shit Don who was old school, insisted on reorienting memory patients, telling them every 20 minutes that dead person is dead. What is even the point? Memory patients are literally not ever getting better. The cold hard truth only increases their suffering. Tell a happy little lie, let their last years be peaceful. Yeah, she looks more confused about where she is and why she has that knife than anything. It looked like a loop of where am I, why am I holding this knife, where am I why am I holding this knife. I was less scared and more sad watching this. She doesn't look evil at all, just confused and scared. The way she looks at the knife is depressing. I was going to say, it looks like she may have sundowners. Dementia. Poor lady is lost and terrified. Yep. Appears to be suffering from a psychotic episode. I hope she got the help she needs and didn't harm herself or anybody. Dementia definitely, but maybe not as lost as she seems, maybe she used to own the house, maybe she had friends or family that did. It's also hard with new neighborhoods where only two or three home designs are used. Very easy to get confused at night with all the homes looking essentially the same. Absolutely happened to me when I was a kid. A retired army general with dementia kept walking into our house because he thought it was his. He would use the bathroom, take food, just make himself at home. He lived up the street in a very similar house. We, of course, worked with his family. It just shows that it can happen to anyone, even the best among us. For sure. I love reading that in some long-term care homes, the condo or apartment style ones, they are asking the families to provide a pic of the person old front door. They take that pic and print out an enlarged version of the door and place that on the standard door. This way the person has an easier time knowing what apartment is theirs. I hope she found some help, she deserves to live the happiest life she has left but she's left so alone and scared. That's quite a presumption. My grandpa has dementia and my aunt and uncle were taking care of him. One morning he went missing. He was found about 5 miles away walking the side of a road clueless as to where he was or how he got there. It's hard to take care of people suffering with this. They had to admit him to a home after that for his own safety. My friend's dad has dementia and her family moved him to a new apartment close to where she lived and I used to work. He got out of his new apartment and was picked up by the cops wandering around a shopping center. The cops happened to drive by my office, apartment manager, and I asked if I could help. The cop asked me if my friend's dad was one of my residents. 
Her dad only speaks Farsi but when he said whose last name I asked him if my friend was his daughter. He said yes while repeating his daughter's name. I called her and she came to pick him up. I felt so bad. He looked so scared and helpless. I understand that. I was just saying that she must have been feeling alone and scared wandering around like that. I don't know what I presumed. One day you are young getting married having a career, kids, and a social network of friends and vacations, going to the movies, kids graduations. Life's good. Then one day you never would have realized that you would end up here. Well, that's the scary thing, you don't realize it, the people around you do. Many patients do realize it in the beginning stages and it causes extreme anxiety and duress to them. Then the disease progresses and the patient is no longer aware. Source, I'm a nurse. It's heartbreaking to watch, even worse to see the family members watch it. Very easy to get burned out in those situations pensive face. I used to work elder care. One day a new resident, a gentle man, was sitting alone in the family room softly sobbing. I went in and sat next to him and asked if he was okay. He looked at me with the most heartbreakingly sad eyes and asked I'm losing my mind aren't I? It took everything in me to not fall apart. I reassured him that I didn't know what was happening but that he was in a safe place with people that would look after him. Several days later he was in full on dementia. It was so sad and he wasn't even family. Caregivers are just that givers of care, sometimes with all their hearts. Thank you for the work you did, I know I couldn't handle that. People like you helped my grandmother when she had dementia and I will never forget the kindness. Thank you beating heart. Extreme stress can trigger dementia in people and slash or cause an advancement in the disease. It's weird how people will have a change of heart decide to give up unconsciously decide they can't do it will cause drastic effects in patients with chronic or fatal conditions. I saw it in my mother, when she was officially diagnosed with ALS, her condition plummeted, she just gave in to the disease. It was awful to stand beside her and witness it. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Bless you for being her witness. My biggest fear in life is that I'll suffer from Alzheimer or dementia one day. The idea of losing all semblance of me and being stuck inside a hollow shell. Maybe she is just returning the knife she borrowed. More likely than not she does have a memory of borrowing a knife. Looks like she's trying to fight it too because she didn't ring the doorbell as if she knew she shouldn't maybe. Like something about where she is at is off and doesn't match with her memories. Scariest thing about this video is the fake volume button. I think that's more likely bipolar schizophrenic. I had a neighbor that did something similar, she brought her gun out at 2 am and went across to my other neighbor's house, knocked on their door and asked to speak to his 10 year old son, whom she claimed was throwing gasoline on her garage door to set the house on fire a few minutes ago. Then later we found out she was a bipolar schizophrenic. Lady was 70, nicest lady, you would have never guessed. Must have missed a dose or two. Firstly, bipolar schizophrenic is not a diagnosis that exists. Secondly, I would advise caution before jumping to conclusions that work to further stigmatize the mental health population. When people with thought disorders see people making generalizations about them in this manner, it can be really hard for them. Source, I am a psychiatrist. No, I would say that you are right. It is not really fair to speculate on either based on such limited data. I guess I chose to comment on this one because I work more with psychotic disorders rather than dementia and am therefore a little more protective of that population. That's fair. Also there is a lot of stigma and unfair stereotype that schizophrenics are violent when they are more likely to be on the receiving end of violence and mistreatment. That poor woman. Feel so bad for her. I find I tell my mother everything in a happy voice, agreeing that I forget, too and lying to her, is the best way old music she likes, too. I never say she forgot, or I told you that. I just say I don't know if I told you this but. Thanks for this wisdom, stranger. Here's to hoping I will never need it. It's a different kind of hell when your own mind starts to turn on you. My exact thought. Wish it was the full video. Did she just walk off? It's always on the videos uploaded. Same as most, if not all, of those video doorbells. Nest, ring, shitholecamera.com, OnlyFans.com, they all watermark their videos. Is this your first time on the internet? Poor soul, you can see the confusion on her face as to why she has the knife, a close family member of mine had dementia and I have to say it completely destroyed them, the fear in their face towards the end over the simplest things it's truly horrifying to watch. Definitely the worst way to go emo. X-Files theme. I hope that her family sees this video. The poor woman really does need professional help. I doubt she's a danger to anyone but herself.